Floss Tomb. This is Tara, the 805 Stitcher. It is Sunday, December 15th, and we are a little over a week away from Christmas, so crazy. Um, if you are new, welcome. This is a um, Floss Tube about cross stitch. I will throw in some knitting or crocheting or book reviews, um, diamond painting, uh, what else? Whatever I kind of feel like doing, I guess. Um, if you are returning, thank you very much. And thank you to all those who have subscribed. Um, it's kind of weird. I've got, I think, 150 subscribers. So that's crazy. Um, we will be announcing the winner of my 100 subscriber giveaway that I did last week. And um, my granddaughter helped me with that. So hopefully we can get that. We videoed it last night. Uh, recorded it last night and uh, hopefully we can I'll be able to figure out how to insert the video because I did do a little research about editing and we'll see I don't know so anyway um, I do want to apologize in advance uh, Danny is home it is Sunday football's on uh, we are a house divided he is a Packers fan I am a Rams fan so um, but it works and <laughs> So, um, uh, the Packers are on right now. So he's out in the trailer and he's, uh, working on, on the trailer, but he, um, he does have the Packers on. So, um, he gets a little vocal. So, but I have said no profanity. So he asked how long this is going to take. <laughs> anyway, I think we're getting towards the end of the game. I don't know. Um, I, like I said, I'm the Rams fan. Rams. Um, I guess, sorry, I'm in kind of a tight slot. I guess tonight is the deciding factor, the game tonight of whether the Rams will be going to the playoffs. So I'm wearing my gear. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll wear, watch the game, but who knows? Um, so today we're in my craft room. Uh, sorry, I just blanked out. I was trying to remember. This is the second attempt at this video. So I was trying to remember if I, the reason it's the second attempt, I, I addressed and, but yes, I did. Okay. Anyway, we're in my craft room. Um, this is where I do all of my things, uh, that in the room next door where I have all my material and stuff. The guest room has been taken over by me. Um, I sit here. This is a nice big desk. I've got, it's like an L shaped desk. I've got my printer over here. I've got baskets. Um, across the way is all cabinets I'd gone to. I got the cabinets from Ikea. It, it didn't cost a lot, you know, so that was good. I like Ikea for that. Um, but then you have to put it all together. So that was fun. Um, my TV's on there. Maybe sometime I will, um, take a picture and show everybody what it's like. It's not a nice room. You know, I like the color. I painted it. Um, uh, but hopefully... One day that blank space over there will be finished cross stitch pieces that I've done. 2020 is going to be the year of finishes. I know it. I feel it. So anyway, um, so like I said, this is my craft room. Um, I'm hoping maybe during the break, I'm not sure, to um, uh, Christmas break. To combine the two rooms because I'm always back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I would like to maybe reconfigure this room and um, my closet back here where the curtain is right there. Um, that is, there's a dresser back there in there and, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. I'd like to put some more, maybe some of the shelving in there open and then I'd be able to have my material in there and see it all and move the material over there and then, um, uh, Maybe get my cutting table in here. I might have to get rid of my chair. I don't do a lot of reading in here anymore. So, but maybe the chair can go in the guest room when it's all done. So, I don't know. Um, so that's the plan. Then I'm only in one room. You know, I can hang the ironing board up behind the door and keep that out of the way and just put it up when I need it. So, anyway, that's, that's what I hope to do. This is a really big desk, so I could even get one of those little ironing board things. You know, the little, have you seen them, the little squares? And do it at the end, but who knows? So anyway, um, yeah, craft room, craft room. See the little, where is it? Oh, there, right? Oh, well, Christmas.
Christmas tree I got that at Target that was cute um because I didn't have anything Christmassy up here the tree's downstairs so have I gotten decorating done no mm -mm. the tree's up uh I did put the tree skirt around it yesterday um thinking Danny would put up the train you know we have a train that goes around the, um on the bottom but he said this morning that I have to decorate the tree before he will do that so I guess I have to do that um and get the I have gone through the boxes they're all in the garage but uh I'll have some time I think this week coming up it says I'm all pretty much getting caught up with all my orders uh I think I'm caught up after today but if you ordered during the cyber sale those are all out so anyway um what else is going on uh last night my daughter and her husband and my granddaughter came over and uh, Harper and I recorded the, uh, choose, choosing the winner of the uh, giveaway I had last week for a hundred subscribers. And, um, so hopefully I'm going to be able to do that insert here thing. I did, uh, upload or download some, uh, editing software or something and I'm going to try. I, I used to know how to do that stuff, but that was back in the day. Sorry, I'm on wheels. I'm kind of slow lately. Um, so hopefully we can do that. Um, I haven't watched a lot of Floss Tube, but oh my gosh, I'm going to, I think this afternoon I'm going to have to sit in here and get caught up. Uh, everybody is bam, 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 um, putting their videos out all like all at once. Uh, I'm just like, oh, Joyfield Stitcher's up. Oh, 911 Stitcher. Uh, oh, uh, Punk, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Oh. You know, the Pam and Steph, they're, they're Dutch Mania. Um, crazy. So there's so many. And plus all the, my, my, my friends and their videos and stuff. So, uh, I did want to do a shout out to, um, Tracy at Fresh Coast Cross Stitch. I think she's in Michigan. Um, she's a newbie as well. I think she's got maybe six videos. This is my philosophy number five, by the way. I forgot to say. I'm really bad at that stuff in the beginning. I should just have it all written down and then I would know because you know I follow my notes. So, um, but Tracy at Fresh Coast Cross Stitch, I think she's in Michigan, like I said. Um, she was just in California um, on travel, I think, and it was terrible weather for her. I feel it wasn't sunny at all. But anyway, I was watching her, uh, not the last video, I don't think, but the one before when she came back. And she said something about being a paint by numbers stitcher. I totally can relate to that because um, I am not creative too much. I mean, not very, but I can follow directions really well. So that's kind of how I think of paint by number. Tell me what to do and I can do it, but make me think of what I need to do and forget it. So, uh, and then I also wanted to do a shout out to Stephanie, who is the vintage sew gal. Um, I don't know how many, how many videos she has out, but I think she's in Texas and she is a beautiful sewer and a stitcher. So, um, I was watching her video. She's, um, she was sewing a period costume and she had done this hat and it kind of reminded me of Handmaid Tales. Think, I think, I don't, I'm just, but the big brim, you know, the long brim. So gorgeous. And she, I guess she's going to make the whole outfit. So, um, yeah, check her out. She's, she's, uh, she's fun. So, um, I was watching Married with Stitches. They did a holiday tag. So I think I will do their holiday tag in the video. Um, and, uh, da, da, da. we have my giveaway and then I'm going to pass, pass the stash. Um, uh, actually I had bought two just of the same charts you know when you're on one two three stitch and okay so i'd already had the chart and i'm like oh i can go on one two three stitch and add all the things you know just push that one button and add all the things and it gives you sometimes you get your linen and you get your floss and it's a one button bam well when you do that they add the chart so i bought the chart twice so 
Maybe somebody will want it. We'll see. Um, but we'll shed that later too. Okay. Um, let's get into it. Uh, uh, okay. I finished the hunger. You know, I'll give it a three. I mean, it, what I did enjoy was the, um, the historical characters, all of the historical characters. Like I said before, I didn't even realize that until I was watching Stitching with the Sisterlies and they mentioned that they were uh, related to the Graves family and Mary Grace was in my book. So I'm like, oh wow. So um, I did like that and it did um, make me want to uh, read an actual fact book about the daughter party. So there was one, um, the writer was Frank Mullen, but anyway, it's like a day by day of the Donner party. So I, I, that's on my, I couldn't find it at the library. So anyway, so I've started a new book. It is the book of, uh, the month for the book club at my school, which I never go to those, but I do always read at my school. All of the faculty live on site cause it's a boarding school. So, um, their book club meets like at seven but I, I commute about an hour to work every day. And so, um, yeah, it's just too long of a day for me. So anyway, um, so this is the book that they're reading. So I always follow along with them, like I said, but it's the storied life of a Fricky, Frick Fickery, a, a. J. Fickery. Ugh, blah, blah, that one. Um, Gabriel Zevin. It's fun. It's a fun good book. Uh, I'll just kind of read a little bit, um, uh, da, da, da. the storied life of A.J. Fickery reminds us of what saves us all from a life of loneliness and isolation, our sense of empathy, our ability to love and be loved, our willingness to care and be cared for. So basically it's about, um, a, a bookstore owner, uh, A.J., and, um, how his life, his wife had died and, the, you know, he didn't really like what he was doing with the store. And anyway, um, uh, something happens. There's a little, little hint right here and, um, changes his life. So it's kind of, I'm about half, almost halfway through already. So it's an easy little read. Uh, I've got my Paris catacomb bookmark in there. So anyway, the story of life of AJ Fickery. Gabrielle Zevin. So also, um, I mentioned before that I was doing the face club, uh, the semi-sane stitchers face club group, uh, their mapping, mapping your literary journey event that starts today. Um, I, so I decided that I probably need a book that's in my stash because I, I'm not going to keep up with my, I'm a much faster reader than I am a stitcher. So, um, I'll probably have both books going, but I've already read 10 pages of this book. And so the way the mapping your literary journey works is that, um, for every page in the chapter, the, it's 25 stitches. So I'm already at 250 stitches. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I've got to do 250 stitches and I've done chapter one. So anyway, this is the book I'm going to be reading with that to begin with. It's a house of ghosts, WC Ryan. Um, I picked this up when I was in, uh, on a layover in Manchester, England from when I came back from Paris and, um, it was like a five hour layover and I always like buying books at the airport. I don't know why. So I don't know who, I don't know if this is an English writer or, but, uh, we'll see. So far, so good. 10 pages, um, 250 stitches. I'm doing the stitching, um, I'm doing the quilting bee by the blue flower. I'll be working on that one with, on this literary journey. So that was the semi-sane stitchers Facebook group. Um, what was it? Mapping your literary journey event. And I'm doing some other events on there, but those all started at the beginning of the year. So. Anyway, uh, that was the book review. So let's do mom's corner. So my mom has added to my finishing pile. Yeah. Um, going through some of her stuff this, this time. Sorry for your crinkles, but 
you know. Um, Ziploc was the preferred project bag back in the day. So anyway, I found this completely done. La di da. Uh, trick or treat, I think, isn't it? What is this? La di da. Smell my feet. Smell my feet. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Pretty. Oh, goodness. Can't see. So that's all done. She looks like she has finishing fabric here. Kind of cute. I think, um, I think I see a pillow. A little, yeah, a little pillow. So, I get to finish that one. Very cute. I'd always, uh, she did this on something tiny. So, I'm not sure. What did it call for? It doesn't say. Oh, well. But that's la di da. I like la di da. I have a, did I do? Something from La Dida. I'm working on some. Oh, oh yeah, the um, Deb from Stitch to Stash, her birthday sale was Witch Witch. And she was um, working on that with, haven't worked on it lately. But So anyway, that was something to add to the finishes. Um, then I found this, and I don't really know what she was doing. But anyway, this does this look like a Lizzie Kate? No. Who is this? If you know, let me know. But that's done. But she had, uh, I don't know. It's like, I don't know what she was intending to do with this. It's not a, you know, it's not one that flat fold that you can stand up. It's just all together. So what could I do with this? Maybe put a little something to support, make it stand up. I don't know. Any ideas? comment. Let me know what I should do with this, but it's done. I think I need some cording or something at least. I, so ideas, please. Uh, what else do we have from mom? Oh, I'm going to share this. I was, okay. Because I was doing my video in the craft room, I had to dust. You know, we all know how I feel about dust. But anyway, I was dusting this and this is a little purse. I think it's a purse that she did. Um, it has, I want to say this is, uh, Cricut, Cricut, Cricut Collection. I, that's what I want to think it is, but she was so proud of this. Oh, so proud. Um, I, I remember she, uh, the Halloween before she passed, um, I had taken my granddaughter up there. So she was like two and, um, uh, my mom had was just so proud and had to show her this. Of course, the two-year-old is like, hey, what? So, but it's a little box, a, a purse, they say. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, oh, this is good stuff. First place. August 2012. She must not have just finished that. Maybe she just pulled it out because she passed in 2017. I don't know. Maybe she, well, no, it must have been together. So maybe she's just sharing it with Harper. But in that cute? So that sits over on the cabinet over there. I think it's, I don't know, Crooked. Uh, what is that? Uh, crooked Cricket Collection? Uh, going through um, some Christmas stuff, I came across this. I think she did this for my grandparents. They lived in Florida at the time. Uh, 2004, I think. It's cute. I asked my brother if he wanted it. He said he wouldn't know what to do with it. I'm like, put it out at Christmas. So anyway, that's cute. Um, then I came across, oh no, another, another finish. Um, this is really cute. I just need to add the buttons, but this is Country Spirits Delivering Autumn. Uh, 2001 is the copyright. This doesn't mean that's when she did it. Cute. And there we go. All done. I wish I'd had this, but um, so I just need to add the buttons as the wheels. 
Isn't that cute? I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I love my little pillow. I have pillows everywhere. So thanks, mom. That's adding to my finishing. I think um, I was talking to one of my stitchy buddies, um, Josen, that we really need to um, have a finishing weekend or day or something. Sorry, totally my head went in there. Um, so yeah. Okay, and uh, something else I found. Um, English Country Friends by Linda Jerry. Look at those. This is to be old because who does those ruffled pillows anymore, right? Uh, 1990. We had a bunch of those ruffled pillows. So here we go. Almost done. Know something? My brother, I was, my brother was over yesterday, and I was showing him this, and he's like, "Oh, I want it." And um, he goes, "Look, there's two. You can. I want this one, and you can make that one." But everything's here. She has another piece of fabric, so I think she was planning on making both of them. So, English country friends. I have a thing for chicken. chicken. Yeah, my mom had a thing for chicken, so. Okay, um, and this is just, I, Harper had these out last night, and these are um, some of the Mill Hill Santas that she had done. Okay. Yeah, we keep going. going. There's more. Some of these. I do not know the names of it. Oh, this one is Pioneer Santa. And it's, uh, she had given this to her father-in-law. Um, his name is Lori. Christmas 1996. Hmm. He liked cowboy movies, so maybe that's why she gave that to him. Um, this one's cute. Little chef. Oh, here's another one. Hmm. I like this one. This one's she backed in purple. All the rest were just paper. This one she backed in purple. And then the last one. So cute, huh? Mill Hill, all the Santas. So a story, I um, when I got all my mom's stuff, I didn't know anything about what was, you know, what to keep, what not to keep. I just like, there's so many of these things that I sold a bunch of these kits. Um, kick myself now because, uh, yeah, because there's tons of these. Um, so anyway, going through her stuff yesterday, excuse me for the crinkles. more. There were more. Mystical Santa. Sorry, the glare. Mystical Santa. Can't put that in there right now. Uh, this one is Black Forest Santa. These look done. Yeah, this is done because... Uh, oh, his beard's supposed to be curly. Black Forest Santa, but he's got purple in the back too. Cute. This one's not done. Birdhouse Santa, not done. Not that. I don't know how to do that. To just use an exacto knife or something. Uh, this one. This is Garden Santa. was not done with this one, but close. That one's cute. 
that's where the beard is. So she had no beard, cord, and backing. So I guess just the beard. <sighs> Solar Santa. Jeez. This one needs a beard too, it looks like. Solar Santa. That one's bright. That one's fun. Ooh, maybe it'll make, make my thumbnail. Okay. Um. Oh, here's another mystical Santa. Didn't wasn't that the first one we did? Was that mm, Black Forest? No, it's a little bit different. Mystical Santa. This one was a little different. So this one she had done. Sorry, and um, this one has not been started. So. Yeah. Feline Santa. For the cat people. Maybe I should make it for someone who likes cats. Nordic Santa. Not started. Sorry. Let me go back to the window. Yeah. And just a plain old Santa Claus. So, how many is that? 20? I don't know. So, yeah, thanks, Mom. Um, it was funny because Harper had put all the ones that are finished here, the ones I, um, she wanted to decorate the tree. And I said, well, I don't have any of the hangers. But I said, but you can put the Santas on. And so, of course, they were all in the front, all at eye level. So hopefully she doesn't realize I took them off. She's pretty smart with these things. Okay, so that was Mom's Corner. She had a lot to say. Um, gosh, this is 27 minutes. I didn't want it to go too long. So I've got a lot to do. Um, I'm, 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 I'm. Let's do whips. Okay. Um, whips. Let's see. Oh, I have a new start too. I had talked about starting this in my plans. And I did it. So it's um, Primitive Hair Stitcher's Home. It was an exclusive Nashville exclusive kit from this year. So cute. Okay, doesn't that house look black? Looks black to me. What about you? Well, this is my start. It's really easy. It's fun to work on because it goes quick. And it's all DMC, so. Um, no, that's not black. It is, um, what is that color? Let me see. Hold, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, the color is gold and olive. So, it's fun. It is stitched um, with all the called for colors, and it is on the stitch on the 30 count old Salem linen. That was included in the kit. All I had to do was do the DMC. So, yeah. Again, the comparisons. I mean, no. Not even. So, that was fun. That was my start. I enjoy working on that. Um, I'm just going to plop them down here, I think. Okay, the next uh, thing that I pulled out was um, uh, the Blue Flower Quilting Bee. I had started this during uh, Stitch Mania this year, and I um, thought, oh, I'm going to stitch on that because of uh, I had gotten the Sleeping Bee. And this, this is the one that I'm giving away later. Uh, there is a winner, so but I got one too. So, um, so this is the Blue Flower and Quilting Bee. This is what I'm going to be doing with the Mapping Your Literary Journey, the semi-sane stitchers. semi stain semi-sane stitchers Facebook group mapping your literary journey and so so right now I already have to put 250 stitches in so this is where I'm at this is I'm and I do uh, often um, stitch in hand but I decided because it was so small that um, this it's a 40 count sheep star linen I think 
uh, Gentle Arts in One Crescent Colors. I'm using all the, no, I, no. Okay, that was what it was. I, um, I had threaded this up, kitted this up at um, my local NATO workshop. And they, she didn't have a uh, the Gentle Art Mountain Mist, so we had pulled uh, an ivy color, and it just didn't go. I don't know what we were thinking, but it's definitely a blue. So I had to get the Mountain Mist from I got that from Threads and Twine this week. So anyway, I'm loving this. I I remember when I started it um, during Stitch Mania, I was like, oh, this is so hard to do because it's so small, but it's so much fun. So, good to be. That was uh, continuing from Stitch Mania. Um, I don't know if I showed this. This again was, um, I'm doing this for my grandson, who is probably, um, I think we're, he's Noah. I don't see it changing. But um, this is Heart and Hand, Wonderful Life. So, I'm doing that for him. I don't know if I worked on it a little bit last time when I was at Stitchy Group, which, and I don't think I showed it again, but I've got to cut this material, so, um, but I did this little raccoon. Ooh, it's just so difficult. I've got like 10 yards of material here. So, cute. This is fun. I like, um, it's on the Mushroom Lugana, which I like working on now, so. That got a couple stitches. So move this right along. Um, this is in my leave-off bag. Usually I get the leftovers, you know, the ones that like, if I make a mistake or something. Um, this is, I don't know. I, I don't know if I did any more on this, but this is Sweet Nothings Over the River. This is the one that I... And has, it has Krennic, 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 and it's the first time I used Krennic, and I don't like it. Don't like it at all. But live and learn, right? Uh, this is on, um, I don't know, this looks like, I don't know, unless I saved it. No, I don't know what, it was from my stash, so, uh, inherited stash. So it looks like a, looks like a look on it, too, or something. It's an even weave, I think. Anyway, okay. It's cute. I changed up. I think all I made. I don't think I've done anything on this, to be honest. I think I lied. I don't think this is a current a whip I did this week. But it's cute. And I ordered the. It's got a couple middle hill buttons or be, big beads. I don't know what they are. Um, I ordered. So uh, I'll have to get back on this. I changed out the color on the second house. It was supposed to be like an oatmeal, and it didn't. It kind of died on this um, this color, so I changed it to the red. So, it's cute. But now that I think about it, I don't think I did any more on it. Okay. And my last work in progress was something that I pulled out. This was another Stitch Mania start that I did. Um, and it is Waxing Moon Designs, Wicked Witch, and Grumpy Toad. It's perfect for us. Because I am the witch and he is the Grumpy Toad. <laughs> no. But I do have a sign out by my craft room and it says it's a the witch is in and you can turn it or it says witch is out so anyway I did um oh I was working on this I've got this much done I had already done this and this uh during stitch mania I worked on this one night um it calls for two threads and I thought it was too um there was too much not enough coverage so I'm using three for the black for the that's the that's the witch I think it'll be okay huh the rest is two is fine this is another one of those that uh, I didn't know 
because I did buy everything for this and this is all the culture colors. But I was naive and bought all the um, over dye floss, which I could have just used the DMC on this. It doesn't really need over dyes. Maybe on the toad, that, that'll be cute. But there's no reason I couldn't do 310 on that witch. I didn't know, you know, I had just started. Um, stitching again, and uh, last when I stitched, overdyes weren't around, so. so who knew? I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, so that's that. Those are my whips. Okay, I think um, we'll do a little, I think I'll do the holiday tag. Where are we at? 35 minutes. So this is the Married with Stitches holiday tag. Um, if you want to do it, if you do videos, uh, you can just ha do the hashtag uh, MWS holiday tag uh, in your title. And um, anyway, uh, so let's go on. So is your tree real or fake? We have a fake tree. <sighs> Words, Tara. Um, we have a fake tree. Um, I have had a couple of fake trees. We bought this one about three years ago. It's got the LED lights. It's really cool. You know, it's nice. It changes colors. It does all these different colors. Um, easy up. But I have done real trees. The only problem with real trees in California is, um, I tell you, there have been day, time or years when uh, I was afraid to turn the lights on because the tree was so dead. So, uh, and you can water it and it just, you know, it, it dries out. So... I am. Um, I was tired of that, so I gotta. We have a fake tree. Um, oh my goodness! Speaking of trees, have you watched um, Real Housewives of Cross Stitch Priscilla's Christmas tour? Oh my gosh! I I stopped count. I lost count. I at six trees. I think it was crazy. Beautiful. How long does that take to put it together? I can't imagine doing that. Um, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Yes. We open all our presents on Christmas Eve. So when I was a kid, uh, my mom would fluctuate, you know. Um, sometimes we would open them all on Christmas Eve. Sometimes we would open, be able to open one, which was usually pajamas and a book. Or maybe two. Pajamas and a book for me because I was a big reader as a kid. Um, but yeah, now we'd open all of our presents on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day, um, it's kind of... You know, kind of a lazy day. I uh, traditionally make um, a spaghetti sauce with ribs and meatballs in it. And uh, everybody likes that. My daughter loves that. So, and I just have that ready for whenever people want to come by. So, uh, what is your favorite holiday movie? My favorite holiday movie uh, is a Christmas Vacation, National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. Love it. I you I watch it n over and over because I watch it while I'm wrapping presents. So that and my second is um, Christmas Story. Is that the one with the where he wants to buy the BB gun? You're gonna shoot your eye out. Yeah, that that movie. If you watch it, the neighbors' dogs. You know they're always barking. That's my dogs. That's how I feel about them. They're the same. So anyway, uh, what food do you leave for Santa? Don't leave any food for Santa anymore. You know, back in the day it was cookies, I'm sure. Plate of cookies and milk. When you don't like a present, are you honest or pretend you like it? Mm. I pretend I like it. I don't, you know, why hurt their feelings, right? Uh, you know, I'll exchange it or something maybe. Uh, do you buy your pets presents? No, no. Uh, Danny used to buy Nala presents. Um, she has probably two Trader Joe paper bags full of dog toys. She is good with dog toys. When I, when I started, Danny and I started dating, I came over and there were probably 30 dog toys all over the house. The, the house was basically run by Nala. So, uh, but Molly, my dog, um, is not good with toys. She destroys them. So, 
you know, we'll get them treats all through, you know, like Derek and Christian said, they get stuff all through the year. So and that's kind of what we do with them. Have you ever gone caroling? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I was a Girl Scout leader uh, for many years and um, we did a lot of caroling. So we would go to the, I think we went to the old folks home. I'm not sure. We did parades. We did all kinds of stuff. So yeah, we, I have done that. Have you ever kissed under the mistletoe? I'm sure I forced somebody to kiss me under the mistletoe. I don't think anyone randomly kissed me under the mistletoe though. Um, but I'm sure I have, you know. Oh, here, come here, stand here. Have you ever regifted? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not for a long time, but I have. Yeah. Do you save bags for gifting? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Christian was talking about his aunt and saving everything. Yeah, I save the bags. I'm the one at Christmas going, save the bows, save the bags. You know, leave it all here. I'll go through it. I have, you know, tons of bags. I have totes of bags. I have totes of ribbon. Um, yeah, because that wire, you know, that wire ribbon's expensive. So anyway, I am the bag hoarder. Uh, do you send holiday cards? I don't, you know, I used to, we used to do a letter, you know, when I was married and my daughter was smaller. Um, we lived in North Carolina, so, and you know, we didn't, weren't our, close to family. So, um, that was nice. I don't, I don't get any cards either. And I think that's kind of the way it goes now is like, um, oh, if you send me a card, I'll send you a card. Yeah. I, I can say I probably got two last year. It's, it's sad because I, I like getting it. Maybe I just don't know enough people. Maybe I'll start sending cards to all my customers. <laughs> So I won't do that. Um, let's see. Be honest. Do you enjoy giving gifts or receiving gifts more? Um, you know, everybody likes to receive gifts. I mean, I like getting gifts, but I like giving. I like to, especially with the kids, you know, with Harper, um, just seeing how excited she gets. And I like looking for the perfect gift for somebody and seeing how, you know, how it makes them feel, how happy it makes them. So I am a giver. Um, Speaking of gifts, Danny, um, I, so I did the whole one, two, three stitch wish list because I wanted to get the, um, silks. I did this side on the silks for my Ann Roberts, um, my Ann Roberts sampler that starts, or the salve that starts on, uh, January 1st. So, uh, it does have a DMC alternative, but it's so pretty and the, the silks are so soft and I put it on my Christmas list and I thought, well, if Danny wants to get it. So anyway, I put those on my one to stitch wish list. I put the the fabric on it. And um so he was <laughs> I got up this morning, he got up before me and uh he, he was down there on the computer and he's like, Oh, I just how do I do this? And he's not you know technical stuff is not his thing. But Basically, what it came down to is he gave me his credit card and I went and bought it. I said, will there ever come a time when you you pick out gifts for me again? He goes, well, when did I ever do that? And I said, the first year we were together. He goes, oh, that was not going to happen again. Okay, great. Romance. Okay, so that was the uh, holiday sale. Holiday tag. So that was fun. Uh, you can always participate just by... Um, like I said, put it on your video or, uh, you know, just tag them on a post, I guess, on Instagram or something. Hashtag WMS holiday tag. So, um, that kind of gets us into haul. Uh, if you remember, I had said I had a lot of haul that hadn't come. Well, it came. So, if you don't like to look at stuff, I'm sorry. But, here we go. I did get some happy mail. So, I did tell you how I uh, was in a swap with Creative Lee. She is in um, New Zealand and she sent me Kathy Barrick, HL's Moth. She had finished doing this. Of course, it was beautiful. Everything she does is beautiful. And so she had said on her face, uh, her video, if anyone would want to do a swap. And I'm like, oh, I would. Me, me. So we are contacting back and forth and emailed and I can send her a list of what, um, 
I thought she might like, I don't know, you know. And so she says, oh, great, those are all great. Here, I weaned the list down, pick one. So anyway, um, she has received her happy mail, and she, I sent her Lila's Studio Quaker Halloween. I thought some of the things, I thought the motifs would be good. I thought it would be good for her to convert colors because she, um, she likes really bright stuff, I think. And anyway, I thought it would work for her. So uh, I sent that off to her. She got it. She sent me some uh, color samples. That would be gorgeous. Um, I had two charts. And um, so I still have one chart that I found. I, I had purchased it, and then I found my mom had it. So uh, she... Um, um, she wants to do a Sal. We're going to do a, a Sal starting in March, I think, on Lila's studio uh, Halloween Quaker, Quaker Halloween. Uh, I should have pulled it, but I didn't. But Google it. It's uh, Lila's studio Halloween Quaker, Quaker Halloween, I think. So um, we'll have to create a hashtag, and if anyone wants to join us, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, I guess Lee is going to be doing a new start a month, I think, in 2020. But she'll probably finish them in a month. She's super quick. So anyway, that was HL's. That was my happy mail. That's fun. Okay, uh, let's go. So, oh, 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 I was talking about. Um, so last time on my video, I was talking about Christmas dinner. And um, so I got a comment from Trish Turner who is Threads Entwined, and she told me how to make the prime rib. So I was a little bit fangirling because I'm like, Trish Turner, she's, she's a big thing. So anyway, uh, thank you, Trish. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it that way, do the prime rib, just like you said. But I did have an order. Uh, like I said, the, what's on here? Um, the quilting bee, I didn't have um, the right color. So I had to order this from Trish, Mountain Mist. I had asked for it in the 24 days of giving, but I didn't get it. So I'm like, I'm just going to order it. But you can't just order floss. It's, it's silly. So I ordered uh, Bendy Stitchy, Hildy's Brew, because I needed this one, because you'll see in my other order from Mad Reminders, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, oh, and as always, she is just the sweetest thing in the world. She sent me another dinky dies. Look at that. Bush baby. That is so cute. Love it. She's just the sweetest thing. I just can't get over her. Sweet. Okay, so um, Mad Reminders. I had an order. And like I said, I had to get Hildy's brew because I got a very Hildy Yule. I saw this and I'm like, oh, God. I guess there's going to be a bunch of these. I don't know. I just, this is, this, this thread, I'm, I can't wait. It's a Threadworks Christmas candy, I think, is all along here. See that? Oh, oh. I think that's cute. So, anyway, I got this one. Uh, also from uh, Mad Reminders, I got. From Heartstring Samplery, the Alphabet Series number 10, T is for Turkey. I saw Lindy's, Lindy Stitches did this. She didn't put the T as for, she just did the turkey. I have to go back and see if she did all the cardboard colors. It was cute. So that was on my list to get. Uh, while on um, Mad Reminders, I saw uh, she had these. Can you see? Oh, look at my glasses. Anyway, um, octopus scissors. Aren't those cute? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I had to get those because I like octopuses. And then because, well, why not? They were like $5. So I got the little lobster ones. Aren't they cute? I think they were the last ones, so I had to get them. That was my reasoning. Okay, that was Mad Reminders. Um, I did some Joyfield, Joyfield Stitchers. She, um, had, was de-stashing some stuff. 
She had a lot of stuff she was stashing. Sorry for this. Um, and uh, so I've been looking at these and been thinking about them, but she had uh, some of the Glitter Village Country Cottage Nail Looks. So, oops, sorry, there's number one. Here's number two. And she had number four. So, it was a really good deal. Um, so I got those three, so maybe I'll start that at some point. I don't know how I would do it. I think I'd do them all in one. I'll have to stop other people and see. Okay, so that was from Joyfield Stitcher. Um, she did a de-stash on Instagram. So, uh, that was that. I did another um, Instagram purchase. Oh, I don't... I can't, I can't remember who this was. I'll have to look it up and, and, and get, and say next time. She had, uh, she has an Etsy store, I think, for her D-stash, right? Or is it PayPal? She sent me PayPal. I don't know. Anyway, I think she sent me a PayPal invoice. But, uh, I got this, uh, Plum Street Samplers, a red cottage. Isn't that cute? What year is this? 2013. Probably everyone has seen this and I'm late to the game. But, oh, how cute is that? And, um, yeah. And she sent me all the stuff. So, I don't know if I'm going to do it on such a dark. Her colors are kind of dark. What do you think? I don't know. Anyway. That was a that was a steal. That was great. I had to get that. Uh, then I had an order from uh, another one from the Cottage Needle, and this is the one that I had been waiting a while for. But she, you know, with the holiday, Thanksgiving and stuff. So uh, my mother loved Tiggy Winkle, so I got this needle binder. Isn't that cute? And I said I had gotten some needles from her because I understand the needle thingy now working with nice needles. I just had the one that she had sent me as a sample and I, I've moved that needle to all of my projects. So I needed some more. And then also I got from her uh, Plum Street Samplers, Friends of the Heart. I think they were on sale. She was having a sale. I think she was having a sale. So I got that. I like that. I like the little fox. Can you see that little fox? He's over here. I think he's over there. He is super cute. Okay, that was the reasoning on that one. Um, I think this is funny now that I'm all miss talking about how the needles. But this is Queen of the Needle, Brenda Gervais. I had to get that one. Okay, and then another, because I have the sewing obsession too. I think I bought this one just because of the sewing thing. But uh, I got this one, the Sewing Bird. By Brenda Gervais. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So that was that for um, my Instagram haul and my Etsy stores. Uh, that's the Cottage Needle is on Etsy and Mad for Minders is on Etsy. I'm sure everybody knows Mad for Minders. Um, I was watching in the, it, well, I was scrolling on Instagram and I came across a new. Um, uh, McKenna had purchased some um, bunch of McKenna from um, Stitching and Sequins, also 1884 Stitchery, had purchased a bunch of fabric from Russia, and um, the the stuff she was working on was so cute. I'm like, oh, I need to run over to her shop and get it. Well, it was sold out, but I did find this instead. So this is kind of this is kind of cool. I don't know who knows what I'll put on this, but isn't that cool? I love it. Yeah. And it's only on one side. So, um, it's pretty good. Look at the color. So, yeah. That's 1884 Stitchery. And she was, stuff was going. I don't, who even knows if she has anything left. But that was, um, I don't often buy fabric. I, I, I'm very true to sticking to the call for colors, but 
I went on a whim. Okay, um, so I also have, um, I also did, bought this. Uh, I saw this on Instagram, and then my friend, Spunky Girl Stitchery, she also had purchased it. I really like Rudolph. He's so, he's cute. So, I already looked for some, I looked uh, on 123Stitch for some, there's a charcoal 20 count Ada. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm not going to bore you. I bought, I bought a bunch of fabric. Oh, and then I went and bought... Uh, I always buy my fleece, um, fusible fleece for my bags uh, by five yards at a time. And I went and I bought the wrong stuff. I didn't get the fusible. I got the sew-in. So I might be doing some quilting because I got five yards of it. So maybe I'll do the quilting on the back. I don't know. I've got to use it up somehow, but I did want to share these. Um, I let a, I went over a little overboard on the the friends fabric, but look at this. Is that just so cute? Hopefully, there's tons of bands of friends that buy my bags because there's going to be a lot of sharing. There's going to be twelve. So um, I don't know the contrasting with this, but it's so cute and like the little. Is that turkey or chicken? I can't, I have not, to be honest, watched all the Friends. Um, I think I started watching it when my daughter was an infant. So that was in 1997, and then it had been on for quite a while. But I got that, and then I got this one as well. That is so sweet. This one I do have the coordinating fabric for already. It's um, black with the cafe perks, so that was fun, or central perks. Uh, so yeah. It was a lot of haul. Sorry. I haven't ordered anything. So I've only ordered like um, fabric. So uh, like I said, we had the giveaway last week for my 100 subscribers. And I hope this works. But my granddaughter came over and we recorded a little video of her choosing the number. There were only nine people interested in it. So the odds were really good for all those nine. Um, so I guess uh, we'll see if this works because if not, then I don't know, I've got to edit. So uh, we'll, I'll insert the video of her choosing the winner here. Okay. Well, congratulations, Bridget. That was Bridget White, right? I'm sorry. Um, Bridget White. Yeah. So I will comment um, on your comment, but uh, if you could email me your address, it's uh, the 805 stitcher at gmail.com and I'll send this off to you. Congratulations. All right. Uh, I did say that I was going to pass the stash because I goofed and ordered two charts, of course. So what I'm wanting to pass is um, Heart and Hand, Wonderful Life. I have two of these. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this one for my grandson who will be here in April. My grandson Noah. Um, his um, birth announcement. It does come with the, the buttons. So, if you want to um, uh, get in the running for this, just say, uh, I'd like to stitch Wonderful Life. And you don't even have to tell me anything. Just, I'd like to stitch Wonderful Life. So, I'll choose the winner on that next next week. I think I'm doing a video next week. But, it's cute. So, hand, heart and hand, Cecilia Turner. Cecilia Turner, Wonderful Life. I want to pass the stash because I have one too many. All right, Um, I think, I think that's about it. It's only an hour, an hour. So um, I don't have anything going on in my Etsy shop, so I'm not going to bore anybody with that. Like I said, I'm going on vacation, so I'm looking forward to it. So um, I hope everybody enjoys their week, and um, hopefully my inserting the video worked. I'm going to go I have to figure that out right now. So I will see you guys next time I see you. Bye.